All right, welcome guys. Uh, this is Malfus, and today I'm going to show you how to edit freelancer files for 4.86, as well as um, freelancer discovery mod. And uh, for didn't, yeah, I just said 4.86. Never mind then. Um, first thing you want to do, for well, actually no, this is not the second thing you want to do is I'm going to go and show you what they are going to look like. Like, if you have 4.86, you're going to have a different folder. And uh, if you want to edit that file, you want to go into that folder, you want to go into data, and like, let's just open up constants. Um, you always want to open with like WordPad or something. Um, Notepad or WordPad. And you see, this is what they're supposed to look like. So if you want to do cruising speed, it's right here. It's right here under um, constants, and you can just adjust that. Uh, they don't recommend going over 500, but I did do 500 one time, and it was uh, it was pretty all right. Um, but that's if you're like playing a uh, single player, and you can edit just about anything else here. Um, max player ammo, um, muzzle cone angle, collision damage factor. Uh, there's a lot of constants in here, um, but there's really like only one page. But there's still a lot of stuff. But that's what you do if you want to edit the one for freelancer discovery. Uh, if you want to go into freelancer themselves and you open up constants, it's going to look like that. And actually, let me just open it with WordPad. Yeah, see, this is going to look like that. I mean, you can still find, um, where is it? But uh, that's because this is all encrypted. And I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is you want to go to Google. And you want to do freelancer B-I-N-I -I tools. See, it should come up there. And uh, you want to go to the first one, it's Swap Portal. Uh, www.swapportal.com form index. Um, and that's what you want to go to. I'm going to open this one. Make sure it's Swap Portal, though. Uh, they're a freelancer uh, community and they have a whole bunch of cool stuff. It's taking its time. And. Um, Edit BNI and I files whilst keeping the encryption requires WinRAR. Well, you don't really need WinRAR, but you can get a. No, oh, you require WinRAR to open it. Derp. But you want to download this and open it. And after you open it, you want to glare at my awesome wallpaper. Um, you want to extract. I just extracted it to my uh, my desktop just for showing you guys because I know that uh, one guy. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. Kept asking me how to edit constants, and he said that his files were all jumbled up. And I looked at mine, and I was like, "Holy crap, they are all jumbled up!" Let me see if I can fix this. But uh, it's got a simple little edit program. Uh, you want to start program? Um, you want to go file open? Uh, as you can see, I've already played around with this. So you want to navigate to Microsoft Games. Um, actually, Freelancer, Data, Constants, and open. And you're gonna have root. So you make root open, then you have constants and all this, and then you make constants open and you have all this. Um, if you're not using freelancer discovery, your cruise speed will be here. Um, it should be here. But you can adjust all this stuff, and then when you're done, you can just save. Save as, and you know, you can constants.ini, and it will save with encryption, and it will be readable by the game. So like, let's say, uh, Damage collision fact, uh, force two, or just um, let's remove that value. Let's add a value. Um, two, done. You know that's how easy it is. You remove the previous value. I'll just do it again. Remove value. I'm I'm right clicking by the way, and then you want to do add value. Uh, new value. I'll well, do point two or whatever. You know, uh, if you want to do a new entry, you can add a new entry and you can create your own stuff. Like, um, uh, let's see, what would be a good one? Cruise speed. Add value, five hundred. Done. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And then just go up here and then be like, save as. And I'm just gonna be like, herpa derpa derp. Done. You know. Uh, that's that's actually how easy it is. And then see, there's my I and I file, and uh, the game would more than likely read it if it was like constants, or if I made a mod to uh, 
read that file, but I'm just going to delete it because I don't want to screw up my game. But that is all you need is Benny Edit, and you can get that from Swap Portal. And just make sure that you Google it, and it'll be like the first one. I haven't gone to Swap Portal to actually look for it, but it's Freelancer B I N I Editor 1.0. That's all you need to access those encrypted files. And again, just for you know what and giggles, I'm going to show you how to edit uh, Freelancer Discovery 4.86 mod files. You just go in there, uh, Ion Cross, wait, no, it's not Ion Cross. Uh, Igus, whoever made this freaking thing, derp a derp. Hey, did they include a map? They did include a map! Hold on a minute. Man, they added Gallia. That's amazing. Yeah, normally you'd have Languedoc, Dauphine, Burgundy, Champagne, and Lorraine, and that was all you had, but it looks like they add Coarse Province, da -da. they added all this crud. Oh, I might have to get back on. It's kind of cool. Looks like they added Cayman, too. I never knew that was down there. Hmm. Let's see what else did they add. Unknown's always been there. Uh, okay, that's cool. Gave me a map this time. Um, but you want to go into data. Um, and you want to go down to constants if you want to open your edit your cruise speed. You want to open with WordPad. Always WordPad because WordPad beats Notepad. You want to go down here to cruising speed. It's under engine equip constants, and you want to edit this value, so like 500 or something. Do not, I do not recommend trying to play on the multiplayer server with this edited. It will kick you. And then it will probably ban you. And then you just save. You know, done. Excuse me. Uh, cruise study time. You can shorten that, lengthen that, whatever you feel. Um, whole damage factor, shorten that, lengthen that. You know, anything that's in any of these files, I think you can uh, pretty much edit. Um, like missions. Let's go into missions real quick. I know there was like a thing where I change the money whenever I do a playthrough to where I get like triple the money. Uh, let me find that real quick. But if it's in the freelancer mod, all you gotta do is open it up. Um, just open and go pretty much. Um, they don't encrypt their stuff, I don't think, so... Oh, diff two money. It's in random missions. And see what I did was I put like nines in front of all these, to where like you got a crap ton of money. I think this is the actual payout value. And then this is difficulty value. Yeah, it's difficulty two money. And like you can make really easy missions like equal as much as that. But um. That's a really cool way of doing it. It like especially if I wanted more money, like you could just add a few nines in here and then you would get like um two million nine hundred thousand something credits just for doing a rank one mission. And if you were doing like a playthrough or a let's play, like what I plan on doing one day when I eventually uh get off my ass and do that, is um I'll probably edit all the diff two monies just so that I don't really have to do as many missions because I'll be playing the normal single player storyline through fr through freelancer vanilla. So yeah, going to need all that money. But that's how you get to edit that. Let me see. Is there anything else I can show you? I think that's about it. Unless you're going to get into heavy modding. So that's all I wanted to show you guys today. So I hope that this helps. And also, I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope this all helps. Have a nice day. Goodbye.